Hello, and welcome back to this clicker project thing that we're doing. Our weekly Tuesday stream of us playing clicker games. Um, today, we're having... I have not having played any of the games we've played. This every time I, I pick something, I pick it and play it for the first time. Um, today, we're going to be playing Cosmic Clicks. Uh, from what I've seen, there's some upgrady things in there, and it's got the idle thing. And, and we click things, and and do the what's it's so yes uh i'm already prepared this week i think the F fps should be increased for this stream which uh, is super important considering how low graphics quality these games are and i have a glass of water this week mm, delicious this stream brought to you by water drink that shit water it's good for you all right let's see here oh that's quite loud I don't want to X-nay the, the volume completely if it's not, uh, in, in not it's like too obtrusive, um, but uh, I don't want it to be well, the only thing you can hear. Let's see, okay, your current ship speed, um, speed at it from upgrades is your ship. Clicking on the ship will make it, it will move you, but that is less efficient than getting upgrades to do it automatically. Okay, that's yeah, pretty, pretty in line with most clickers to make you go faster over time. It's, they kind of work for you. They can, you can only click your, your mouse so hard. Let's see here. So this area is normally reserved for marginally funny comments. Okay, boring. Alright, uh, detail panel. Okay, upgrades. Okay, There's some text here. Alright, uh, I've read enough. Let's see here. Sweet. Okay, so current speed. Let's just start clicking the thing. Neat. Excellent. Is uh, is there no gravity in space? Well, there's gravity in space, but it's very minimal. You know, your momentum is conserved. So I guess in this case, clicking going forward just keeps keep, keeps adding up your points. All right, so, so let's just start currency. Um, haven't been reading any of this stuff. Sure, yeah. Can't slow down. All right, well. <laughs> Fine. All right. Let's see if I can purchase. Did I just purchase this directly with speed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So this makes sense. We buy engines by slowing down. I guess. That's. Yeah. That's. Uh, uh, that's kind of ludo, ludo narratively dissident right there. So some uh, like. Strangeness going on there. That's just the currency. This could be gold. Whether it's like gold farmers, this is a giant, I don't know, gold smelter, and then all this is just like gold dust filtering into our smelter. Surely that's the way that works. Uh, <laughs> cookie clicker kill. Uh, let's see here. Go fast. Boost power engine 100%. Plus 2%. Plus 2%. Uh, sure! Cool. Alright, well, our engines seem to be working a lot faster now. Also, I'd like to uh, welcome back our one viewer, Steve. Welcome back to the program, Steve. I'm so glad that you're uh, you're still here with us watching every one of these things. I know that I can trust on you to be our devoted viewer. Whoa, we got a big old moon come by here. Oh, no, wait. Asteroid. Nice. You can really get the sense of the, the progression here, the travel. Huh. Excellent. Well, let's see what we can do here. Um, what does this do? Streamline shit. Let's just purchase this. Buying poles. Uh, okay. We streamline the ship. We go faster. That ship over there. One of the same. So I guess it's just get five units of speed per, per thing. Okay, so engines are worth two per second and hulls are worth five. Okay, so each of these just produce more speed as time goes on. Nothing too fancy here. Uh, we've, got, we've got some here. These things produce, make your hulls go, produce more speed. More speed, more speed, more speed. 
Excellent. Very basic. We should be there in no time. And as always, uh, well, not always, as last week, I did say that I wasn't going to be using the cheaty method of, of uh, pulling the game. Sort of broke down after a while and started doing the cheaty method, um, just because my finger was getting really sore. Uh, but this week we're gonna we're gonna hold out for longer. I think we can make it. Maybe. So you get like 11 per, per click here, and I'm only going like 54 per second. Yeah, that's not so bad. There. Uh, lots more of these. So it's still worth it to keep clicking. Wonder what kind of things we'll see. Really ratchet up the speed here. Maybe I guess we've already passed an asteroid belt. Uh, I guess maybe that was like some sort of achievement thing for crossing a certain threshold of so speed per second or something. Oh, I feel it already. Strain on my finger. Not a good sign. If uh, oh, my finger's tightening up already. Oh, it's true, you can't get repetitive stress di disorder in your fingers. Alright, let's see here. Engine, uh, make your engines go faster. Uh, scanner. Uh, let's see here. Well, we can buy some more of these guys. Yes. Oh, we're cruising now. Well, definitely, I think if, uh, if this is 84 miles per second, I think it's gonna take a long time to go wherever this little ship is going to. It's basically big yo. Excellent. I suppose I shouldn't really be purchasing these engines unless they're like at least half as cheap as these hulls, because these hulls, you know, you get like five here and then you get like two from these engines, right? So it's all about like spending your currency appropriately. Making sure that uh, it's worth your time. So I suppose here the scanner here is like ten, and these are those are worth five. So I guess so long as the scanner isn't double the cost of our hole, we shouldn't purchase that one yet. There you go. Click. <clears throat> I have to say, for this clicker game, there's not a lot of. Uh, it's not quite as exciting right off the early game. Normally, there's kind of like a early game where you have a lot a lot to do and then it slowly slows down from there so it kind of gets you hooked on playing it's like the ooh, shiny upgrades every few seconds and then like kind of pulls the rug out from underneath you but it just seems it seems it gets you right in the grind right, right away no messing about here going straight to the grind Fancy. So I guess when we purchase these things here, we get to see something cool in the background here, like, ooh. Jupiter, we made it. Yeah, that took way less time than that should have. But I guess we can't expect realism out of these games. I mean, they're not all Call of Duties. Not all, uh, I don't know, flight Kerbal Space Programs. So I guess like in the, the news this week, I've heard that uh, that new Silent Hills game, if you've heard about that, it was related to the PT, the, um, the demo thing that was on the consoles. Don't know really which consoles, because I don't really play consoles, but Silent Hills has been cancelled. Um, and that uh, the formerly new uh, upgrade to the, uh, the Silent Hill, look at the wings. Um, the, the latest game, the franchise, it was going to have uh, Hideo Kojima and uh, Guillermo del Toro, um, which was going to probably a very exciting matchup. Like, del Toro has been trying to um, do video games for a while now. Like, he's done this as a third failed attempt now. 
and I, Lord knows that uh, Kojima has been sick of Metal Gear series uh, since the first one, um, but they keep dragging him into it, so he kind of like released from Konami, and uh, yeah, they kind of just like took the project away and putting on kind of infant hiatus while reassuring people that uh, yeah, they're going to keep doing the series despite the fact that uh, without those two auteurs probably nobody cares. Um, at least they shouldn't. Um, hopefully nobody cares. Uh, that would be sad if somebody cared after that. Oh, your engine's worth four per unit now. Our hull's worth ten. Uh, okay. See, okay, so our hull's are worth ten per unit and our scanner's are worth ten, so we should upgrade our hulls before we could do our scanners now. Not sure how this music is coming through, uh, whether or not it's much louder than I am or whatnot, what the, the levels are. I suppose I could listen to my stream in the background. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna figure it out. We're gonna fly by the seat of the pants and try and adjust for next week's stream. And again, uh, yep, this is uh, a clicker project. Not the most meaningful thing on the internet. Not trying to be the best. Plenty of better things you could be watching with your time. I'm not going to try and uh, fight people for the best content on the internet. No. Ooh, I can buy a computer now. A thousand units? Well, sure, we'll go for that. That's quite a leap, going from like ten to a thousand. Quite affordable too. Yeah, I'll buy another one of those things. Crazy. So we got this thing that boosts scanner power by a thousand percent or hundred percent, like double. Because of like twenty. Like, why would I purchase scanners from this point on? I got these computers. You know, like, see, I got like a hundred forty-two. Like. This, this clicker. I don't think it understands how progression works. Um. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was uh, a lot cheaper than it should have been. And also, when I'm purchasing these things here, they're not that expensive, really. I mean, another thousand units per second. And like, huh? Oh, that's the fun of clicker games. The um. There's not a lot of quality control, there's not a lot of research done by a lot of these people. Uh, they, they can get the, the equations for when you should get your next upgrade. If they're trying to become the most optimal Skinner box ever made. Uh, sometimes they just, uh, they don't understand. Uh, it seems to be just like, they let you, they let you get to it really quickly. I guess this is, maybe this is supposed to be part of them. We've got all these achievements down, all these, really expensive. Um, all these things down here. I mean, I suppose... I suppose we're just kind of letting the thing go on off and doing its own thing, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, it's like this is a thousand per click, and 23,000 clicks per there. Like, it's not, not worth it anymore to click the, the, the thing. Huh. But, but I should click the thing, because it's this clicker project. We, we click game, because game exists. This this game this game has broken me. I I guess I don't buy computers anymore because they're not as good as all these. Okay, well I can buy one of those. I like, need these to be four times expensive. Well, they're only double expensive, so I keep buying these. We should buy some more shields. Double that. Ah. Uh. Uh. All right. I guess we'll buy some more engines. Ah, uh, okay, we just passed Jupiter, but then I guess we're going past the sun. I guess uh, we are we went through the center of the solar system before we, uh, before we were going out, I suppose. Yeah. Alrighty, well, just buy some of these hyperdrives, I guess. I don't understand this game at all. 
I'm just gonna click all the things, purchase all the things, regardless of how expensive they are now. So much money per second. Uh, you don't usually get to a point like this where suddenly everything becomes cheaper as you go forward. Um, interesting. Or 50 holes. We can do that. Seeing as we have nearly infinite amount of everything, I suppose. As far as 25 H drive. Alright. Oh, look. Sweet. Double all of our speed. Uh, let's see here. I want to do this one first, despite it not being that relevant, I guess. So now we're going by the Tatooine shipyard. I guess we must have left the solar system or something. I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this real quick, despite the fact that uh, despite the fact that's kind of going backwards here. Click on this real quick. All right. Okay. Now what? What do we want to bet? Right, let's be like what Mars. Oh, what, the 74? That's like, that's like the, the Apollo? I can't, okay, I'm, I'm ignorant, uh, not the Apollo, uh, Voyager, if you Voyager, like, yeah. This game is so weird. I'll just buy some more hyperdrives, I guess, because they're really good. And see, like I'm, we're clicking all these things and upgrading them faster than the the text can really keep up with them. This is so weird. What does this do here? Boost beam power. Boost scanner power. Okay, so I guess like so I guess only certain one of these up. Upgrades will be really that meaningful. Uh, scanner, scanner, scanner. Uh, computers. Okay, some of these boost computer power. Okay, and some of these. Okay, we go from beams to shields. Okay, so I guess weird. Okay, so some of these are more meaningful than others, and then we have to go back and upgrade them, kind of like retroactively, I suppose. Don't even, don't even, this is, I just, I'm without words, how, this game, <laughs> it just clicks things as quickly as possible, I've never seen a clicker game where you just click the upgrades as quickly as you possibly can, <laughs> normally there's some waiting involved and some earning of everything, my, my cursor should be over here more often. I feel like the like every time I click over here, yeah, there's more upgrades over here to, to buy, and we could be buying those things instead. Oh, look at that! Adding more stuff to the ship, more meaningless stuff. I guess the, these things over here, shields are supposed to be like way down there. We need lots more beams to upgrade our shields. So I guess that's a thing. Uh, you need the lower upgrades to buy it to upgrade the higher upgrades. But eight drives are just best, so eh. as soon as we can get this one, we'll like double all our income again. So we upgrade our engines here. I think we get to upgrade our power. Maybe it'll make it more meaningful. Our engines have gotten really expensive. Our hull 
holes more expensive than their, their engines are more expensive than their holes. Probably because they don't want you to upgrade your clicking ability too hard. What is that thing anyway? It's like it's like some sort of belt strappy thing. I guess it's meant to be like a shipyard, like a like a nautical shipyard, but in space. Yeah. to see. It's like 3.5 million. I get 29 million per second. Alright. Any Anything else? Anything for you, viewer? I will click forth. Regardless of whether or not it's meaningful or not. holes to make 40 per unit now? The engines are 64 per unit? Uh... These beams are way better than these shields at this point. I suppose I should be paying attention, but... It just seems hard right now. I mean, like, there's just so many things to click. More upgrades. Why would I pay attention to what I'm doing when there's more upgrades to buy? Yeah, can't even, can't even upgrade computers until we finish out the scanners here. We need like 100 scanners. Let's see, we need to upgrade these holes all the way down. Maybe yeah, we can do that. Use the power of exponential numbers. Make these things worth 80 per unit. Well, we have a lot of them, so. Be quite a lot of upgrade, I guess. Well, enough of that. That was fun for our first half hour, but uh, I think we're we're done there. Hmm. Certainly a lot less stream of consciousness today. Consciousness. Uh, just a little bit more uh, engaging, I guess, or maybe less engaging. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll just kind of take it as it goes. These game, these uh, these streams. I, I did like the last week's uh, clicker with all the little different things to see with like the nice trees and stuff. Maybe what I'll do is before next week I will uh, I'll take a look at the, the clicker before I start playing it to see if it's got more than going. I'll pick a shinier clicker. Uh, but it is what it is. You you viewer Steve are on the, are on this journey with me. The strange it's delirious journey into the unknown of clicker games. Oh boy, so use these antennas for ramming other ships, I guess. Alright, so it seems like we've hit the slowdown a little bit here, and there's a breakdown in how quickly we can purchase things. So I might have to just save it for uh, some more meaningful stuff here. 640,000 speed units per unit. Well, that is an awful lot of uh, speed. It's kind of hard to argue with that much speed. How could I possibly afford that thing? 
I suppose by affording these two things first. Scanners. Part of me just really wants to get these these two upgrades. And just like work our way over there. Some upgrades unclicked. Like maybe I want to upgrade my computers. Maybe I want them to be awesome. Maybe they could be awesome. It's too bad we don't see like a efficiency rating out of each of these upgrades as we're purchasing them. Like, you know, this is how many speed units per unit we're getting, but I guess it's a little too small of a window, but all the games in Congregate are this big. Uh, shields. Beam shields. Shields. A hundred beams. A hundred beams. We should work on the scanners or something. Morge drives. Uh, it seems that we have uh, uh, our f streamer friend Pigmas uh, asking to see whether or not we want to be playing any Diablos. Um, considering is this that this 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 stream this week has uh, been kind of a dud, I feel not quite as exciting as last week's. So I think that we could probably stop this half hour and totally play some Diablo. Considering Diablo is uh, only mildly a clicker game, I will probably squid switch off the stream. Thank you all for watching. Um, don't blame me if you didn't make it through this one. Uh, hopefully next week we'll have a bit more excitement going on. Thank you for watching.